Thank you, Kelly. Now to some breaking news. We've been following all morning out of Waipahu. That's where an early morning fire has left one family without a home. Yeah, Jai has been there since the early morning hours on Pahu Street. And Jai, now that the sunlight has come behind you, you can see the damage. Good morning to you. Yeah, you get a chance to sort of see the damage, and it, it's extensive to the house. But the good news is the four folks who were home at the time were able to make it out uh, without major injury. And one of those who did make it out is Joel Casipe. Joel, first off, thank you for talking with us. Joel, if you don't mind, it was about 2 o'clock this morning. What happened? What did you hear? What did you see? Obviously, it must have been quite chaotic. Um, pretty much just woke up to the smell of smoke, uh, came out. Looked for the source, found it. Um, just everyone in the house reacted properly. Thank God that we all know our fire safety. Yeah. Uh, if not for that, I think we would have been greedy and trying to take everything out. We just abandoned everything. Um, when the fire first started, um, it was no bigger than a microwave. It was so small. I rushed to get a bucket and then it just multiplied. It was on the ceiling. It caught on fire to everything. The drapes, just everything just caught on fire. I tried to go back into the house and literally opening the door, all the black smoke came out. Mm. I already knew that it just wasn't worth it. Joel, who all was home at the time? You were obviously home. Who else was with you? Because our understanding is you, another man, and two women were able to get out. Mm -hmm. um, my mother and father uh, were in the home or my mom was anyways. My mm -hmm. dad wasn't in the house, but, um, and my other half. Yeah. Joel, thank you very much. We appreciate that. I know it's been very difficult and very difficult for him uh, in the last half hour because the fire inspector uh, here on scene, uh, there had been a family cat that was unaccounted for. The fire inspector, unfortunately, giving the news to Joel uh, and the family that they had found the cat inside the house. So the cat was killed by the fire. It took eight companies, about 35 personnel, to put out the fire. It was put out at about 2.34 this morning. And now the investigation to find out exactly what started this fire and the amount of damage that was done. We will stay on that, keep you updated not only on air but online as well. K2.com.